So today we're back playing Indie, which is a game I haven't played in over a year. My last video on this game was in 2021. But the reason we're back playing it is because it's got a mega update and you can see in the description here all the new stuff. I think the coolest thing they have is their race mode because it's really well made. But they also added free drive, a couple of new tracks, which are Texas and Pocono. They also have new graphics, improved blowovers and so on. But I'm gonna be honest, this game is so much cooler and the race mode is super fun but as you can see they have this super cool menu which is very smooth as well you can just hover over the clickable thingies and they get bigger as you can see we have free drive here which is just a car crashing over another car and we also have the race mode here and this is the new update stuff which we already saw and of course we're gonna be starting with free drive and you can see these are the three different tracks so far we have indie pocono and tech Texas and I think I'm gonna go with Pocono because I like the name and we're basically gonna do a little bit of free drive just so I can show you the features in this game and then we're gonna do race mode which is super cool and I really like it so as you can see when you click spawn car here you have the indie car and you have a couple of game pass cars we have the Rainer 97 which is a classic car and we also have the pace car and of course we have the indie car so let's spawn that and I think you recognize this livery because this was the one in the thumbnail in my oh my god okay well people are already crashing into my car so i guess i'll just spawn it here but yeah the car model hasn't changed one bit but what did change is a lot of the mechanics of how this i think the coolest thing here hold on let me get closer to another car the coolest thing in my opinion is this little radar down here which basically it's like your little spotter it tells you if there are cars nearby and so on let's get closer you can see when you get closer to another car it shows up on the menu or this little radar down here and i think that's very sick and super useful for the races and you can see i don't remember them having a steering wheel back in the day now they have a steering wheel that moves the ui is very clean as well and very nice and the damage is also slightly different i will show you that in a bit for the schemes now you can just click and scroll through the different schemes i don't know if they have many new schemes though i'm gonna stick with this one because is this the this might be the Mc, no this is not the mclaren wait no this is the mclaren i can't even tell anymore but this must be an old livery but yeah you have your tire wear here i don't think tire wear is a thing and for the damage it's slightly different now as you can see my front wing fell off before i touched the freaking wall but you can see like the pieces of your car become like triangles i don't know how they've done this damage system but it's very cool and clicks a little bit more detailed because it looks like your car is shattering when you lose a piece and of course you can lose each of your tires and i think you can only lose your front maybe i think you can also lose your rear wing but it's hard losing your rear wing without someone crashing from behind you but that's pretty much all the new stuff besides race mode i think it's time to go and check out the race mode they need to add a back to home button so i don't have to rejoin the freaking game just to go back to the main menu anyways race mode time let's hope there are some people on my server i just pinged in my discord server telling people to join because a lot of the time this is empty but yeah there are some people joining now if you want to join my discord server i'm gonna leave a link to it in the description but as you can see three two one the race is about to start we're currently floating in the air and our car is kind of transparent that's mainly because they don't want to have collide so when your car is transparent which means there is no collide and usually that's for the start of the race and you can see we're racing against two other cars please don't crash okay i crashed into him there but this is actually so fun because you have collisions and the best part is like if there is someone lagging a lot their car becomes non-collide so you don't have to crash into a lagging person also if someone slows down a lot or tries to drive backwards their car becomes non-collide so you can't really troll on a big scale i mean you can probably go near someone and pit them but it's not as easy as like turning around or stopping on track because your car will just become like ghosted and and as as you can see we're currently p2 or now we're p3 and we're trying to fight there is the slipstream or the draft in this game so we can easily catch this guy let's just see how he defends i don't think damage is as sensitive in the race mode and i think we're going down the inside for this corner i'm gonna let go of the throttle just so i can make it through oh yeah this is the indie track i know the indie track very well 
because I've raced on it a couple of times even though it didn't end well for me ow ow I hit the wall okay well it seems we're back in p3 we're only three tenths behind p1 also guys if you're enjoying this video smash that like button we just go down the inside get a double overtake in one turn on this circuit or oval and I think we're losing a position we lost two positions in one corner as well these two I'm gonna wait until the final lap because I don't think it's worth the risk on a lap that isn't the final lap because if I overtake them they're gonna overtake me again so what if I just wait and charge up my uh, engine power so on the final lap I can go crazy or I can overtake but no never mind I was gonna overtake them but that looks a little bit too risky oh my god okay well that was risky that guy just flipped that means less competition i did not do that on purpose that was by accident i hope he doesn't sue me or report me well now i need to freaking overtake this guy and i only have the slipstream of one car and i only have two corners to do it please give me the slipstream this is a very long straight come on give me the slipstream no one to be toxic give me slipstream yeah yeah give me the position now no i touched the inside wall ow ow oh my god i think i just bottled did i just bottle this race i can maybe get him through here i can maybe get him i can maybe get him i'm faster come on i'm faster i'm better i'm better come on come on please where's the finish line no we were so close we were two tenths behind okay we were basically three tenths behind so we just lost that race but i think i'm gonna do another race this is why we need collision races and more racing games on roblox because this is super fun i know nascar or indycar games it's super easy for them to do collisions because it's mainly ovals but i think like the f1 games and so on need to figure out a way to do this because this is super fun okay we're getting ready for this next race there's so many more people someone jumped out of their car and we're going straight for a wall let's change our scheme let's go with this yellow wix one and we're how are we already p4 we're basically dead last at this point okay well i believe this is the texas circuit and we seem to be going straight into a wall i think i'm gonna play the long game and wait until the final few laps oh my god i thought i was gonna crash there thankfully cars that are stopped on track are non-collide but yeah this is like basically backstretch battles i would say more fun though because you actually drive around ovals and there's so many other cool features and the fact that it's indycar makes it even more enter oh my god they just crashed into each other can we maybe go down the inside and overtake three cars in one corner no it doesn't seem like it i can maybe oh we've already overtaken one never mind I just hit the inside wall basically this white line you can't go under why is this guy brake checking me but basically you can't go under the white line there is like an invisible wall there which is kind of annoying but i guess it helps with people not cutting and so on let me make these people crash into each other oh my god i just sent that guy wall right and now i got sent into the wall as well uh that's oh my god somebody died somebody that was not my fault and that guy just went into me okay dude that's toxic and they're crashing into each other and and somebody just overtook me uh we have a four car train and there's somebody driving backwards what the heck okay that's very toxic whoever did that i believe it's the guy that won the race last time i'm not sure though but we are on the final lap of the race and it seems that i'm actually p1 i wasn't paying attention after that crash let me hit this guy no 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 oh my god what the heck bro he just overtook from under my car is that like a new move come on i can get this i can actually get this Win. I can actually get this win. I can get this win. I got the win. I where the one who won. Oh yes, I won. Okay, that's my first ever race mode win in this game. There you go. Now I have one win. Let's freaking go. I mean, the guy that cheated or like that door backwards did kind of help me, but don't I do not condone that sort of behavior. And there you go. The race ended. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is in this game. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you, and if you have other games I should check out, leave them in the comments below and also subscribe to the channel to not miss any of my future videos and i'll see you next time goodbye